Chow Chiquitas, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. I wanted to say hi. I got a hydrofacial this morning, bright and early, so I'm not wearing any makeup. My skin is super shiny. Mike and I are gonna go grab some sushi. It's Friday night. I love Friday nights because it's the start of the weekend. We're gonna have a nice bottle of wine. And also, I wanted to show you, I'm wearing my Fendi strap, finally. I put it on my little nude guy. Don't look around me because whoa. It was a crazy week, super hectic work, was insane. So I kind of have just lived quickly, tornado-ly through this room. So it looks crazy, but I'm just wearing this little outfit, my Amazon tank top, my Honestly, Banana Republic cardigan that I haven't been nonstop wearing because it's like hot during the day, but a little chilly at night. We have my Fendi bag with the chain. I honestly don't really love this chain. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like the bag better with the leather strap, but it is what it is. This is the first time I'm taking her out. So we will test drive her and you all know me. I change my mind often. I'm very hot and cold, but I can be swayed either way. Also, take note, I'm not wearing my Apple Watch, which yesterday I went to work, I commuted to the city. I did not wear my Apple Watch. It was amazing, like life-changing. I'm wearing jeans. I actually never wear these and these white little shoes that you guys know I love. Actually, let me see, can I put you somewhere where you can see me? Terrible angle, I don't really know, but this is the fit. Jeans, Amazon tank, here's my bag. Here are my shoes. Figure I might as well get these in while I still can. It's like 80 degrees today, so I feel like I can get away with white shoes. That's it. Let's go get some sushi. I'm starving. Starving. Oh God, in the cat aisle. <laughs> I'm very upset, babe. I don't understand how they don't have like healthy senior. I hate to even say that he's senior. It really upsets me. Why you keep saying he's senior? Just say he's adult. He's ten. But they say that adult cats. I, he better live until he's six hundred and fifty-seven. I looked at that. It says. What did it say? It says there's clay in it. I mean, he just doesn't want clay. Okay, I guess that one's the best one. What about high protein, deboned chicken and egg recipe? Dried egg product, tapioca, natural chicken flavor. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm sad. Hi, my friends. It's Saturday, my favorite day of the week. I really wanted to wear this dress. I will show you this dress, although I feel like it's a little bit see-through. I feel like really terrible in my body at this current moment. My anxiety has been like through the roof. I feel stressed. I feel icky. I did my makeup. I washed my hair. I've had a very productive morning. I worked out. I had a 40 minute full body. I journaled. I meditated. Meditating five to 10 minutes every morning right when I get up because I just feel like I wake up and that's how I feel. I just, I'm not, I'm having a hard time and I really don't know. Well, I do know. I think it's time for me to like actually go to therapy and like like do some of the things that I've been putting off. I think the putting off of things has been adding to my stress. I don't know, but I wanna put some kind of a lip on. Now this dress is a little bit dark. It's gonna be 85 degrees. Let's go with Koki retractable lip liner in warm nude. I just, I don't know. Oh my God, that's so bright. It's a beautiful day. Mike and I are gonna go to the beach house. I don't really know what we're gonna do at the beach house. Like honestly, joke's on me if we're going to the beach because I put on a full face of makeup, which is fine, like whatever. I hide under the umbrella anyway. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. We are supposed to be down there already, in which case I would have just put on like a tank top and jean shorts and called it a day, but some unexpected family things came up. So I'm gonna go as soon as he gets back. But can you like hear my... My breathing is like labored. I don't know guys, I don't know. I just feel like ever since I've been back at the office and like commuting, Tuesday this week was actually the worst commuting day I've had in a really, really, really long time. Three and a half hours to get there in the morning and then it took me almost two hours to get home at night. And I just, I, I don't know, I just feel so crazy. And again, here I go saying, I don't know 55,000 times. I just feel so terrible and I'm trying to get a handle. But you know when you are trying to get a grip on things and then you like kind of shame yourself to get a grip on things and then you make yourself feel bad about it? It is like a vicious cycle. I'm gonna put Bear It All by Revlon. This is number 755. I don't know, I just feel like this is a good, not dark, not too light of a nude for this dress. I don't know. I got a hydrofacial yesterday, which I mentioned to you guys, and I cannot tell you like how beautifully my makeup went on this morning. Like, oh my God, it like glided across my skin. My skin 
looks so so good I'm just trying to figure out like what gloss i want to do here maybe like this one probably makes the sense like a peachy one look at how messy this is i've been leaving this upside down so that i can see what color it is because when it's up top they're all the same color maybe i should flip them because whoa that is a mess. I also feel like this might be a little bit too beigey. So I'm going to try NYX in Fortune Cookie because this is a little bit lighter. Yeah, I think that that's the vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't really know what I want to do with my hair. Oh, I made a hair appointment for this Friday. <sighs> Granted, I like messaged my hair girl and said, what should I book? Because the last time I booked a partial and then they put me in for a single process, which I didn't know what a single process was, but that's when you have gray hair. I'm not saying that I don't have gray hair, but I don't have enough gray hair to like have a specific like hair thing to cover my gray hairs. So anyway, reception just like booked me for the wrong things. And then it wreaked havoc on the amount of time that I was in the hair salon for. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was there for like four and a half hours. I texted Samantha, who's my hair girl, and asked her what I should book when I called yesterday. Thankfully, she told me that it hasn't been too, too long since I've been there. So she told me to do a partial. Let's put my jewelry on together. Now that I'm not wearing my Apple watch, I'm like, <laughs> I need a new watch collection. I just need to wear the new watches, the new watches, they're not new. I just need to wear the watches that I have. As you guys know, I've been wearing my Apple watch nonstop. Literally, that's the only watch I've been wearing. So now it should be like the watches that I own are brand new, even though they're not. You know what I'm saying? Like the fact that I don't wear them, they should feel like they're new, but I'm already online and I'm looking up like vintage watches. I don't know why. I have it in my head that I want a vintage Rolex from 1991 because that's the year that I was born. They're not like cheap, but they're not like, I feel like when you think of a Rolex, you think like absurd amount of money, but like vintage lady justs, is that what they're called? I'm not a watch connoisseur. My husband knows a lot about watches. I do not. I'm sorry. I sound like I just ran a marathon because I just feel like someone is like actually sitting on my chest. They're not cheap. They're not super expensive. I don't need them though. Nonetheless, I'm putting some jewelry on. So these have been the bracelets that I've just been keeping on. My nail bracelet from Cartier. I have my small love bracelet by Cartier. I have my tennis bracelet that Mike bought me forever ago. They sell it at Macy's. I will link it down below because it's still available. And I have my Van Cleef. Now I am just anxious and it's the strangest thing because we've talked about this I did a no buy in August it went really well I was very proud of myself that I didn't buy a single thing this month I feel like this and I just want to buy things and I don't know what the correlation between anxiety and shopping is but it's something that I really struggle with and it's so weird to me but anywho I've been looking at watches i've been looking at i really want the van cleef bracelet that i have in the agate i just like blue and i find blue to be a very very calming color for me so i've been looking at the alhambra van cleef bracelet in blue i've been looking at 1991 vintage rolexes with blue faces on them i'm not buying either one of them for a very long time i'm trying to get a grip guys i'm really really trying to get a grip but it's really really hard for me to get a grip Let's talk about jewelry i'm gonna wear this um cartier wallet wallet oh my god this cartier watch santos watch i've been wearing my vintage oh maybe i should wear that like, should i wear red or is that like too much i feel like that might be too much but i have the vintage gucci watch that my grandma gave me that i showed you guys in my jewelry collection and then like all my other watches are dead like i have this one that i love it's a really cute mavado and i love it because it's like small and circular i should get the battery replaced in this but this is nice like this gives me like vintagey vibes i've had this for quite a long time so i should bring that to the jeweler i need to go to the jeweler in general i've been decluttering i don't know why things just make me happy and i just stare at things and i forget about my problems for a bit it's very weird but i have these vintage earrings they were my late great aunts i have a lot of her jewelry or like a decent amount of her jewelry they're like the screwbacks i want to bring them to my jeweler and see if they could just do a normal post i think these are real pearls but i'm not 100 percent sure but it's 14 karat gold so can you see how cute they are like, how cute would those be? It's just like a dangly little earring. So I want to bring these to my jeweler too. So maybe we'll do that in my next vlog. But anyway, getting back to today, what kind of earrings do I want to wear? I kind of want to wear these like YSL ones that I bought at the little street fair. They're not real YSLs. That color goes really well, you know? I've been very into like mixing my earrings up lately, which is good because I've been decluttering. My declutter video has not gone live yet just because I'm really taking my time with it. I'm just trying to be a little bit more mindful with my time and not like stressing myself out with everything because I feel like I can do a really good job of stressing myself out. This is really cute. It's from Ula Johnson. It's very pretty. I like how it kind of ruches to the side. So it hugs my 
hips and kind of like creates a really nice hourglass figure but i just don't know if i feel really comfortable people being able to see my undergarments oh this but is this too like wintry oh i feel like that kind of goes i wore this last night we think like this kind of like oh i feel like that's kind of good this would look perfect if it was like fall like nighttime vibes i just feel like this is always a good bag for when i'm not sure it's like is that too fall is that too summer this is just like the perfect neutral yeah this makes it a little bit more daytime so i guess i will wear this bag again or this what do we think i wish you could answer me i think i like the fendi one better all right let's get myself together attempted to blow out my hair i don't really know but i'm gonna put my rings on i'm not mixing it up <laughs> i'm just gonna put my wedding ring and my engagement ring on this hand oh i've been wearing this more this um ring that my mom and dad bought me for christmas i think i was in like sixth grade but it's from fortune off so i've been wearing that everything is silver on this side now which i don't mind mixing metals but kind of like the cohesiveness i have my my clash ring, my signet ring. This is so boring. Oh, my alarm for my dad. I've told you guys this before, but I put an alarm at 12 14 every Saturday because that's when my dad, that's the time that my dad passed. I've just been like really sad. I've been thinking on him a lot and crying a lot, honestly, this past week. But I have that alarm so that I haven't said hi to my dad or like a reminder to like think of my dad. But I don't really need a reminder because I think about him literally all the time. And I don't want to get sad because I just did my makeup. Woo! Anywho, um, I have my David Yurman cable pinky ring, my panther ring, which one of my subscribers asked me about. This is the most battered and bruised ring. I honestly, I want to show you in case you were someone that asked me, but can you see like the indents? On it? I feel like you could see here, see? Just anytime you have a ring that's kind of like smooth, but rounded almost i feel like it gets destroyed a little bit more also look at this phone case that i got it is a ghost on a bench it's so cute if you don't know i have a thing for ghosts i don't know i don't want to be haunted by ghosts but i love ghosts it just it makes me feel like the people that i love are still around me and also you know i am the halloween queen but i wanted to just show you the fit i don't really know i feel a bit insecure about the fact that you can see my underwear apparently this is like what all the cool kids are doing not that i think i'm a cool kid um and please ignore my mask you can tell the mental state that my brain is in by how terrible my room looks like the messier it is the more chaotic my brain is but this is the fit again this is an ula johnson dress my fendi bag with the gold chain on it and then i paired this with my m jemmy sandals i'm trying to do a good balance again between the fall and summer because it's so warm out today let's get on with the day i'm sorry i feel like this has become very like me showing you my outfits my hair my makeup but i just i don't know what else to show you and i don't know what else to talk about except for my anxiety which i talk about all the time and I just like don't want to put my anxiety on you like too too badly um but so speaking of this is the makeup i'm not wearing foundation i was wearing foundation for a bit i've kind of given up i just feel more comfortable and more me when i just use concealer this is the makeup let me know what you think and let's get on with the day oh i need my kindle i really want to finish my book if you watched my last vlog i talked about how i journaled about the things that i spend a lot of my time on that i don't want to spend my time on and then i made a list of things that i want to spend more time on and i want to spend more time on reading less on scrolling <sighs> focusing on my anxiety i kind of like i i know i need to like push through it and feel the feelings but i've just been feeling the anxiety way too much and i need to like check out and maybe not feel it so much anymore let me know what do you guys do when you're having like when you just feel like this like when you feel like there's an elephant sitting on your chest i've been meditating i've been doing like breathing exercises i've been doing all of like the woo woo things because i believe in the woo woo things i just feel like so i just feel so uncomfortable in my skin and in my body my whole body like hurts i don't think that this is sustainable for me clearly i need help if you have any tips for me, let me know. But I don't want this whole vlog to be me talking at you about the anxiety that I'm having. I really want to enjoy my weekend because I feel like the last few weekends, it's like I'm go, go, go all week and I'm stressed, stressed, stressed all week. But then the weekend comes and it's like quieter and I'm just worse. Hi, friends. Hi, Ducky. You guys going to get the lantern flies? Okay, eat the lantern flies. Do they? No, I wish that they would though. I thought you said they do. No, I don't think that they do. They're yeah. ducks. <laughs> 
No, he got a little scared. Hello. Oh. They just went for a swim. They're all wet looking. Don't bite me though, because you bit my toe last weekend. It's like below deck. You can't like even really like see how big it is though from here, but whoa. Oh look, next to that. Ah! Fucking kidding me. That was really mean. I thought a lantern fly was in my ear, jerk. Such a jerk. Oh, it's turning around. It's gonna come right ashore. Oh my god, that's wild. Wait, that was crazy. That was really cool. Wave to the guy. Is it sandy? Well, um, the beach was fun until it absolutely wasn't. We were under a swarm of lantern flies. Like, I kid you not, you could just like see them in the sky gliding, flying, and every like five seconds you saw one, not five seconds, that's a bit dramatic, but one landed on my back and Mike swatted it off. One landed on the back of Mike's chair and then like, he went to go face that way and it was like in his face. It was insane. And then we were sitting in the kitchen eating lunch. I ordered a chicken sandwich and I don't know about you, um, I'm very, very particular with my chicken and it was a chicken breast sandwich. The chicken breast was the thickest chicken breast. It was literally this big. Like when I say that it bit back, you better feel nauseous in your stomach because thinking about it, I actually feel sick. So I felt bad throwing it out though. So I got a knife and a fork and I basically cut the breast in half and I just ate it as a breast, but it was like chewy. I'm gonna get changed, we're gonna go for a walk, we're gonna go check to make sure no one has touched my dad's bench and moved it because you guys know I mentioned to you when my aunt came down to visit, she went to go see the bench after without me because I just, I couldn't handle it, you know, a little emotional. Um, but she went to go see the bench and she was like, the bench was facing away from the water, water, like someone took the bench and moved it to face away from the water and put it on the opposite side of like, the pier. It was very weird. So Mike and I moved it back. But ever since then, I'm not gonna lie, I plan to visit the bench every time we came down here regardless. But now it's like, I don't go, well, I mean, I go to enjoy it, but I don't feel as though I'm going to enjoy it. I feel like I'm going to check on it in fear that someone has touched it. It's just, it's a weird feeling. A lot of unsettling feelings. And that's literally what Mike said today. He said that he feels very like unsettled and I feel the same thing. I see him. He's on the high one, right? Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I see him. He's shaking. Yeah, yeah. He's drying off. Very meticulous about his bathing. Wow, that's wild. Lenny the Benny. We love a meatball. You're making a lot of meatballs lately. Mm. Meatballs you made last weekend were delicious. Yeah, but we were making them with 85.15 instead of 80.20. Mm. Oh, so these are less fatty? I feel like they're less fatty and they're less flavorful. Okay, well, I'm sort of healthier. What are you going to do? Look at that health life. Healthy. So, look at this healthy dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'm going to get it together and we're going to have two uploads per week. I've just been going through a rough patch. I honestly like haven't been feeling great. It's like the same story over and over again and I'm working now to get it together. I grabbed lunch with my girlfriend Bailey yesterday and I just have to say, I never really had girlfriends the way that I have girlfriends now. And we talked about this in a recent vlog, but now I understand the importance of having girlfriends. Like people would say that and I would just like through my experience, never really understood it and was kind of just like, whatever, like kind of bitter. Like, yeah, okay, they're important to have until they shit all over you and um, basically use you. But again, just because I haven't had a good experience, it's so different when you find friends that you can actually have a conversation with and who get it. Not to throw shade at the 
male species, but women and men are so different. And when you can find women that you can open up to and have conversations with about your feelings, they just make you feel so sane. I'm going to get my hair cut and colored. So we're gonna be doing that today. And I'm trying to put a little bit of makeup on because normally I just leave the home without any makeup on. And then Sam will do my hair and I hate it because I just look pale and it's just terrible. So I was trying to put a little bit of makeup on, but I don't know where my blush brush went. Maybe it's in here. Women, I feel like we just wear the weight of the world. Other people's problems, I can't help but feel like they're my problems. I'm someone where I've always strived to be a better version of myself. I just feel like I'm constantly working on myself and I'm constantly trying to better myself. And it's really disheartening sometimes when you look around you and other people are not doing the things to better to better themselves and then like I don't know I just feel like sometimes in my healing journey I need a little bit of validation but I can't make people self-aware and I can't make other people have to deal with their demons and face things I've been so angry lately and I what is that saying that like anger is not an emotion it's like a side effect from an emotion I know that I'm just like really sad like I'm really sad I feel like a lot of shit went down you know even before my dad got sick and then before my dad died Died. like I'm just dealing with a lot of trauma I don't want to make it sound dramatic but I mean it but I feel like I also do this thing where I downplay my feelings I'm such a mess like my makeup is like everywhere I downplay things that I've gone through and I just think that now like something is happening where it's like the tip of an iceberg like the dumbest things right now are stressing me out but I know that the things that in the moment stress me out are not the actual things that are stressing me out people are just like jerks I don't really care about the people that are being jerks. So like genuinely, I don't really, like it doesn't, it bothers me because I just feel so sensitive from what's underneath the tip of the iceberg. Grief is very lonely, but I feel like I've also chosen to go through things by myself because it's easier. I just find like, I, a reason why I don't want children is because I don't want to take on more emotions than I already take on. I find that sometimes when you go to people and look for validation or reassurance. They just put more emotions on you or like people just can't take it for what it is, make it about them. I don't know if any of this is making sense. So I think I like really need to go to a therapist. I mean, granted, I have people in my life, but the thing is, is that most people look at the world, like everyone looks at the world in their own perspective depending upon what they've been through. So if you're going through something and you need someone to be there, like that something might be triggering to the person that you're asking to be there because of something that they've gone through in life. So they can't wholeheartedly be there. And sometimes it makes you feel worse. I just need like a safe space. I need to talk to someone who is like unbiased and can just help me work through my feelings because I oftentimes find that I'm looking for people to help talk me through my feelings and Bailey like, really helped me yesterday. I just, I find like women who are caring and understanding and don't come at you with like jealousy and judgment. Those are just like the best kinds of people. Because again, like I love my husband. He is so supportive. He's always there for me, but he always comes at it in a very like logical and analytical way. But as a woman, a lot of the times I come at things in a very emotional way. And I understand that logic can sometimes help you work out of the emotional feelings that you have. Sometimes I don't want to look at things with logic, you know? And sometimes, quite frankly, the logic doesn't make me feel better. I just wanna feel heard. Let me go blow dry my hair and then we'll go get my hair done and hopefully it won't take 14 hours. Please God, don't let it take 14 hours. I was thinking while I was blow drying my hair, my hair, it's very fluffy. Um, I just tried to get it dry so that Samantha can put the color into it. So she's fluffy. She's crazy. I was thinking though, I don't think I used the correct words to explain how I was feeling. I am just someone who worries about everyone and I worry about everything and I do my best to take care of myself so that I can be a better version of me. And, but like not everyone's like that. And that's not me saying that I'm better than everyone. I'm the oldest child of my family. 
and I just feel like I was always like the second mom to my brother and my sister. I just, I take everyone's emotions and feelings and I worry about everyone and it is so exhausting. I can't help it. And it just drives me crazy. Like it just drives me crazy. And I get such anxiety so easily. Like I worry about my mom constantly. Before my dad died, before my dad even got sick, I would call my sister and my aunt and just say like, I'm so worried about dad. Like, and I envisioned my dad getting sick and dying before my dad even got sick and died. But like for me, that's so triggering because being like someone that has anxiety, you know, people always say like you have anxiety and you're always like 20 steps ahead. A lot of the time when you envision something, it doesn't happen or it doesn't go nearly as bad in real life as it did in your head. But with my dad, it literally went just as bad as I thought it was gonna go. The worst thing that I've ever envisioned, like, had to be that one time that it came true. It's like I can't go by that mantra of you, you make it a bigger deal in your head than it is in real life. Like I can't rely on that mantra anymore because again, even though nine out of 10 times it's true, that one time wasn't true and I'm just having a hard time. But anyway, so I'm not saying that like, <laughs> I work on myself and nobody else does. Again, we all have different perspectives and people have different prerogatives in life. My dad could have done things to make himself healthier. I realize you can't control people and I realize that everyone has a different perspective in life, but a big part of my grief is the regret that I have because I feel like I could have done so much more to stop it from happening and I feel bad because I envisioned it happening. Like I knew it was gonna happen. I look at people, I worry about people, and then my brain spirals. Let me show you the outfit. I didn't mean for it to be so deep. Um, I just, I don't know. It's just me. This is me living, traumatized, which is like so dramatic. Like I'm, but again, I have to stop doing that. I have to stop telling myself that I'm dramatic because when I open up to people and tell people how I'm feeling and then those people make me feel like I'm being dramatic, it's very triggering for me. But why is it okay that in order for me to calm myself down, sometimes I tell myself I'm being dramatic. It's like a double-edged sword. Anywho, outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Gap body tank top that my mom bought me. Gucci belt that I've had for a long time. Jeans that my sister bought me. Converse, just because I feel like it brings it all together. And my Goyard because I'm going, I'm running errands. And yeah, so let's go. I did a terrible job of vlogging yesterday. I was at the salon from two to 5.30, so like not as terrible as last time, but still a long time. I thought I was getting a partial, but instead we did a full. I don't know if anyone cares about hair things, but I have explained this to quite a few people. Like when I was blonde and I was getting a full head of highlights, the problem is when you keep getting highlights, you know how they take the pit, oh, what is that? Oh my God, that like really sharp end and they like, weave it through and then that determines the pieces that get highlighted well you know when your hair stylist is highlighting your hair when she goes through the second time that you get your highlights done like the chances of her picking up different hair are high like they pick up different hair every time so that's kind of what has happened to me over the years from getting my hair colored so many times they've picked up basically each hair on my freaking head, which isn't their fault. It's just how it works, you know? So there was no dimension in my hair. When your hair has no dimension in it, that's because too much hair has been picked up in the highlighting process. So then what they do is they go in again and they pick up hair, but this time they darken that hair. So instead of highlighting it, they low light it to like bring the dimension back in. Basically we did the highlights, we did the low lights. So there were foils in my head and then Sam painted the rest of my hair, like the root of my hair. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell the difference, I'll show you in the sunlight, but that's to give it like a little bit of a red reflection, which it, she said it's gonna be like super, super subtle. She did a glaze, so it's like a deposit of coppery red tones on the roots of my hair, but it's kind of like, it's like temporary. So as my hair grows, as I wash my hair, blah, 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 you know, 
it's gonna fade, which is okay because honestly, like by the time I go back to get my hair done again, I go every three months. I usually go back between like nine and 12 weeks. This whole thing like fades, but I don't know if you could see, it's just, it's such pretty dimension. It's coppery, but it's also like cool toned. It's, I don't know, it's very cool. I just, I can't explain what the hell she did. She took an inch off the bottom and then we did like shorter layers in the front. Like this is very short for me. And it was funny because I went there and she was like, wow, we are just going like all out today, trying all new different things. I felt very adventurous, but I'm really happy with it. We've changed my hair so much, especially in the last year. She takes pictures and she like documents how my hair has progressed. And like, I went from super blonde to now like this coppery, much more brown, chocolatey, coppery caramel and it was so funny because she was showing me before pictures and she was like you went from girl next door now with this hair it's like you're a housewife and i'm like yes do we not love it i kind of love it i'm gonna drink my coffee i'm gonna chill i'm gonna read i'm gonna journal i'm gonna meditate i'm gonna work out and then we will get on with our weekend which i'm so excited nothing like waking up at 7 a.m on a saturday just to soak in all the bits of freedom that is the weekend. I love it. I genuinely do not know what to wear today. So this is what I came up with. I'm going to get lunch with my aunt, but then she's taking me to Patterson to see the falls. So we're gonna go on a walk. I don't know, I kind of wanna bring this bag because I have not used this bag in a hot minute. And I feel like it kind of goes with, look how fall my hair is. It goes with the fall vibe. As always, I'm wearing my Amazon tank tops. I can't get enough of these. And I do really like the thicker straps. I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton belt. These jeans that I've been living in, I just feel disgusting. I was wearing my J. Crew jeans, which I like, but they're just tight. And Tati Westbrook said this a while ago, and I didn't think she was crazy, but I couldn't relate. But since I've had such bad anxiety recently, like tight clothes makes my anxiety worse. Like I just feel constricted and it's like I get this feeling and it's like I just need to rip my clothes off it's so weird but it's definitely happening to me and then since we're going for a walk I'm wearing my ugly but cute my like Nike high tops that I bought when Mike and I were in Nashville and then this is a Banana Republic cardigan it's supposed to be like 81 degrees but I'm sweating then I'm freezing I'm sweating then I'm freezing we all know I have trouble regulating my temperature so this is the fit this is the makeup. I was actually gonna film this, but then I ran out of time, but I'm gonna film it in my favorites video. So if you missed my September favorites, I will link it up here. Will my camera fit in this bag? Will you fit? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Wow, what a time. This is so pretty. 